hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel this is my subi all right to start off this video we are going to be needing three cutouts one 15 inches 17 and 20 inches all right so starting with the 15 inches what we're going to be doing is to fold it in the middle just as i'm doing right now so you try and get the middle point now with your needle and thread you're going to form a gathers from one end to the other mind you whatever i'm doing with these 15 inches i'm also going to repeat it with the 17 and the 20 inches so what we are trying to do is to form something that looks like a bow tie exactly just like this so once you're done forming it you tack it with your needle and thread all right this is what we want to achieve so we have our 15 we have our 17 and we have our 20 inches already formed next i picked up our 20 inches and what i'm going to be doing is to pass my needle through it so what i'm trying to achieve is to layer it in such a way that the 20 will be down i'll put the 17 inches next and then 15 inches so we'll have um a, a kind of um bow tie look but piled up in different sizes so this is exactly what we want to achieve so once you pile it up like this you secure it properly with your needle and thread tack it and make sure it's it's tight and it's not going to lose if you have gotten to this point of this video and you have not subscribed to my channel before please i would like you to tap on the subscribe button and you will join the family and you will learn a whole lot more more videos will come your way and for my old subscribers thank you thank you and i'm happy to see you guys here all right i'm trying to arrange it so that it will pop up a little bit and you know have a better shape next i'll be going with my applique so with my hot glue i'm putting the applique just to beautify the bow a little bit see how beautiful this is looking ah i might feel like wearing it too all right next we are going to be covering our alice band with the ashoke material first of all what you're going to do is to measure out the length of the ashoke you will need using the alice band just like i did so i measured out the length of ashoke that would be enough to cover the alice band then going with my hot glue i'll be covering the alice band with the material that i have i think in my previous videos i've shown us several times how to cover the alice band with your material but well this is a bonus i don't think i will be teaching it anymore again all right what i'm doing now is to cut off the excess of the edges you know that um, edge of the alice band is a little bit thinner so i'm cutting off the excess so that i won't have excess materials trying to layer up so this is just what i do to you know make it look neat and flat now while we are watching i want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to one of my subscribers adachi she's been on my neck to release this video ever since i posted the shots yeah so and actually this is this video is for you so enjoy and many other people who have been following me following this channel enjoy this video many more will come your way trust me i promise all right up next what i'm using now is my bias so basically what i like doing is to use a similar color a matching color bias to always cover my bands not every time black black so it won't look boring <laughs> so i think i'm using a fuchsia pink to cover up this time around so the reason why i do that is just to give it a clean finish you know when you look at the inner part of it it should just be looking neat you know looking fine <laughs> so that's why i use a bias to cover i know some people have the opinion of using um an uhu glue 
or e 360 to cover with your to cover your bias rather but i don't know but for some reason i still feel that the hot glue is best for me so i try my best to be careful and when i have um, stains around it i i have a technique of cleaning my stains so i usually go with my matchstick or my lighter to burn it a little bit and you see that that the glue will just melt off and you won't notice the stain anymore but anyway whatever works for you i think you should go with whatever you feel comfortable working with but for me i just feel comfortable using the glue that's just it so i'm um, rounding off now this is the end i think i cut it off i didn't show it in the video i cut off the ss bias that it's lying around so to finish off um i cut a little piece of the bias added my glue whatever glue you feel comfortable working with and then i'm using it to cover the edge of the alice band i have already covered so just watch what i'm doing this is how i cover just to give the alice band a clean finish you know no rough edges nothing nothing see how fine it's looking and very clean and neat all right next i'm going to be adding a generous amount of hot glue on the uh, bow tie that we formed not on the alice band on the bow tie we formed and you carefully place it on the alice band the area you want it to be all right so this is the finished look i actually made this for a little girl if you have any questions please do not forget to ask me in my comment section i'm always here for you and don't forget to like share my video and for those who haven't subscribed please try and subscribe okay you'll do a whole lot for me thank you so much i'll see you guys in my next video bye